Hey, what's up, guys? Devin here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you how you can view and edit Microsoft Office files on your Chromebook. All right, let's get into it. So one of the questions I get asked a lot is how you can open and edit Microsoft Office documents on a Chromebook. And that is a perfectly valid question because most people are coming from the Microsoft ecosystem and therefore they expect their Chromebooks to be able to open Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint and so forth. So how do we do that on a Chromebook? All right, the first thing that you need to understand is that you can't install Windows or Mac desktop versions of Microsoft 365 or Office 2016 on a Chromebook. So that is really important to take note of. And then also you can't use the Android versions of Office, Outlook, OneNote or OneDrive on a Chromebook. So basically there is no native support of Microsoft Office software on a Chromebook. However, you can use Microsoft Office on your Chromebook using uh, Google Chrome. So that is possible by visiting office.com. Now with office.com, you must have a Microsoft account and obviously you need an internet connection. And so office.com works a little bit like uh, Google Docs or Google Sheets and Slides. It's a totally internet driven application that works on your browser and you need an internet connection to use it. So all you have to do is to to come to office.com. I already have logged on to office.com. Uh, sign in with your Microsoft account or create one if you don't already have one. And then you'll be able to see your office uh, documents here. You can see your spreadsheets, you can see your documents, you can see your notebook. And so uh, to open a document, all you have to do is to just double click on it and it opens on your browser. Just like if you've used Google Docs, it totally works on the browser, only there is no native support however you have all the features that you would expect from the desktop version of office it's really feature rich and there is really little distinction between the uh, online version and the desktop version so that is uh, microsoft office and also uh, spreadsheets here just double click on the spreadsheet and then it opens and you can edit it after editing it uh, you can download it you can share links and collaborate with your other colleagues and workmates it just works like the desktop version except you have the added benefit of online collaboration so when you finish you don't necessarily even have to save it it automatically just saves on the cloud you can export it to a pdf or whatever formats that you want so it is free however you can uh, go premium you have uh, different pricing structures here you can see 7.99 per month and 10.99 per month here uh, so you can choose what subscription plan you want if you want a little bit of more storage and a little bit of more features you can uh, pay some more so when you pay for it you'll be able to use microsoft 365 the online version and also the desktop version on the pc PC or Mac, not necessarily on Chromebook. However, the free version you can only use it online, and that's it. And comes with a really basic storage. So if you don't have a Microsoft account, or if you don't want to open Office.com, and say somebody just sent you an email with a Word document, let's say. So how do you view and open a Microsoft Word document? Luckily, Chromebooks actually really already support that without really installing any software. It uses the office editing for doc sheets and slides chrome extension which comes uh, pre-installed on your chromebook so whenever you get word document or a spreadsheet on your email for example you just have to download it or double click on it and it will open on your chromebook so let's just see what we can do here let me just download this so when you download it and you double click on it as you can see, it opens on this Chrome extension here. You can just see a few basic details here. You can't really do much. You can't edit much. You can see it opens in Office compatibility mode, but there's really nothing much you can do here. You don't have the same editing power as the office.com applications that you get from Microsoft itself. So that is something really important to take note of. This comes out of the box. You can only view with a little bit bit slight editing can add a few entries here and there but you don't have all the features that uh, Microsoft supports 
So if you want native Windows desktop versions of MS Office, then you will have to try out using Crossover or Parallels for Chrome OS. So Parallels for Chrome OS enables you to run a full Windows operating system on your Chromebook. And if you have a full featured uh, Windows operating system, that means you can install any uh, Windows applications on your Chromebook. So that is something to consider, but you will need a really powerful Chromebook to run this software here. Also, it's not free. However, you can start with a trial version and see if uh, you like what you see. So that is one alternative. The other alternative is using a crossover. It works like an emulator of sorts. And that means that it enables you to run Windows applications on Linux, Mac, and also Chrome OS. They recently had support for Chrome OS here. It's not free. It starts from $16. However, you can uh, try out the trial version and see if you know what they have will be able to do what you want so those are the two alternatives that you have either go parallel software or uh, this crossover for chrome os software that gives you native experience alternatively uh, you can just uh, switch completely to google docs the software gives you the ability to change or convert a word document or an excel to the equivalent of a google doc or a google sheet that way you take full advantage of google's word processing software that works on the browser and it is just as powerful as word or excel all right guys hope this was helpful if you have any questions let me know in the comments below uh, if you like this video go ahead and give us a thumbs up uh, subscribe to the channel otherwise we'll see you guys in the next one